बैग से करेंगे सबका स्वागत अस्सलाम वालेकुम नमस्ते सस्वेकाल आदाब के मनाचो का सकाय एंड वेलकम टू चाय विद मुन्ना प्रेजेंटेड टू यू बाय जाफरी स्पोर्ट्स क्लब स्वैग से करेंगे सबका स्वागत चाय विद मुन्ना will be a series of interviews with the most bona fide legends of the game. We'll see how they left their footprints for us to follow. We'll see what makes them tick and what makes them click. Full of fun and musty, only on Chai with Muna. Swag se karenge sabka swagat. Our next guest is a legend that played his whole career for one team, United Stars. He's undoubtedly the best netty ever to play this game. He's seen the peaks and valleys that this game has to offer. His passion for the game undeniable. His determination untouchable and his swag unstoppable. He is the legend himself, Muslim aka Muslo Hashim. Assalamu alaikum to all the viewers. Welcome to my first episode Chai with Munna presented by Jeffrey Sports Club. Today I have a very special guest. He's a legend, he's a pioneer and he's one of my best friends. None other than Muslim Hasham. We call him as Muslo. Muslo, please come in. Come in Muslo. Thank you. Thank Muslo, you Munna. Thank you. Muslo, assalamu alaikum. How are oh, you? Oh man. Good bro. Everything bread. okay? Good to see you again. Man, man. You're putting me to shame, Muslo. No, no, man. This is your show, bro. No, 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 no. no. Now it be, it's becoming like your show now. No, 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 no. This is all for you, bro. It's Muslo, all for please, you. please, have a seat. Thank have you. a seat. Thank have you. a seat, please. Muslo, first of all, thank you very much for coming. A pleasure, brother. It really brother. means a lot to me and the viewers. Before we start, can we recite Surah Fatiha for all the monuments? Absolutely. In this spot. Thank you. So, Muslo, so kei che to? All right, ba. Tari health kei vi che. One day at a time, brother. One day at a time. Like, are you okay? Are you still playing volleyball? Ah, uh, not to the level that you expected me to play, but. Uh, are you still pumping up the pangra? No, I'm taking a little sabbatical for now. Mm hmm. And uh, when the time is right, who knows? Good, good, good. Muslo, before we start, would you like to say a few words to our viewers? Sure, why not? Uh, hi, everybody. As you're all aware, you know, we're having a chat with Muna, you know, over a cup of tea. Uh, he has gone to extreme length to make this happen. And I wish him all the very best. And I hope you guys enjoy the show. Asante, asante, sana, muslo. Um, okay, before I start, okay, I have a shairi for you. Hum tum, hum tum ek kamre mein band hai. Hum tum ek kamre mein band hai, or chavi kho jai. Do you understand, right? So, Me and you are close in this room. All the keys are thrown outside. So it's me and you. If you want to fist fight, if you want to do anything, I'm good to go. Brother, I'm a lover. Oh, ho, ho. oh, 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 Muslo, Muslo, sir. Oh, chavi ko chhod de yar. Uh huh. Tere dil ke chavi to meri jeb mein. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, Muslo. Um, let's go way, way back. Where were you born, Muslo? Dar es Tanzania. Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Yeah. And can you tell me where in Dar es Salaam um, we, we used to live? Yeah, city center. Mm -hmm. City center. Right, right. Where was that? That was, I would say, about five minutes away from the, in the coastline of the Indian Ocean. And it was, uh, our Ishnashi Mosque was also right in the middle of it. Wow, wow, yeah. wow, wow, wow. And... Um, the viewers would like would love to know when were you born? When? When? What day? Oh, April the fourteenth, nineteen fifty-four. So you're still twenty year old, my friend. Well, <laughs> don't don't be deceived by looks. Okay. <laughs> so how old are you? 
I'm 68, you know, this Ma year. Mashallah, Mashallah, 68. Yes, sir, but it's only a number. Okay, and you still want to beat Munna in volleyball? Um, right now, like I said, you know what, I'm taking a break. So mm -hmm. let's see, you know, how you know, time you know, shows up, mm -hmm. and then we'll see. But I think... Uh, Would you like to face Munna again? I'd love I to. I mean, he's beaten you so many times, okay? Yeah. So Listen, why would you face him again? I'm a fighter. Yes, that's I, what I, it is. I'll go down, I'll still come back up. But for now, I, I'll, I'll let you, do, you know, dominate the scenario for now. Okay. <laughs> okay, Muslim, in Dar es Salaam, what sports did you play? Initially, we were playing mostly cricket. And then uh, volleyball also came into the, our, you know, our, our lives. Mm -hmm. uh, table tennis here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, badminton, you know, as and when. So, mind you, in Dar, because the weather is so beautiful, mm. we don't really have to cater for, you know, the special needs like we do in North America here. So, if you feel like having a game or two, you know, mm -hmm. get all the friends together, we have a pickup games. Okay. So when did you um, start playing volleyball in um, in a competitive level? I'd say volleyball or cricket, whatever it is. Oh yeah, okay. Well, competitively, I would say when I was in uh, primary school, so that would be the age of about six. I'd say about that time, you know, I started getting into sports, you know, a little bit more seriously. Okay, in primary school, where did you go to primary school in Dar es Salaam? Your famous Mtendeni. Mtendeni. Yeah. Okay, there's so many beautiful stories about Mtendeni. Oh, I, like tournaments. Absolutely, yeah. But mind you, in my times, we were not really playing tournaments there as often as you guys did after I left, you know, for Canada. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, still had, it still has a history of, you know, sports, you know, venue. Okay. So now, um, let's talk about volleyball. Which team did you play for in Dar es Salaam volleyball? Initially, when we started playing, you know, it was just a bunch of kids, you know, we get together, you know, have a game or two. But then, as we started getting older, I started playing for a team called the YMCA. YMCA. What does that stand for, YMCA? It is, uh, a, apparently, from what I understand, it's called the Young Men's Christian Association. But uh, we were not affiliated with them, you know, in any capacity as far as uh, the religion was concerned. It just so happens that they had an area where we could have utilized enough to play volleyball. Okay, okay. So when we approached them, we mm. told them that, you know, if you guys don't mind, mm -hmm. we would like to have the back space that you have mm -hmm. and turn it into an outdoor volleyball court. Oh, beautiful. And uh -huh. uh, they, were in, they were in sync with us, so there we go. So at that time, um, you were there. Can you name some of the players, your friends who were playing with you? Oh, yes. Yeah. So you know very well Nazir Kiparo. Kiparo was there too. Yeah. How old was he at that time? About my age. I think uh, he's maybe a year or two older than me. So Naziro, who used to play in New York. That's correct. And he was a captain of New York. At one time, yes. Yes, yes. I still remember yeah. that. And he was Kiparo then or he became Kiparo later? I think after marriage he became Kiparo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Nazir was there. Who else Nazir was there? Was there. Uh, Rustam Damji. Rusam Damji. We will talk about the gentleman, you know, after, you know, yes. okay. Uh, Nazmul Jafar, who is right now in Minnesota, the love we, we checked. Okay. Uh, a lot of Hindu guys from, you know, from uh, Zanzibar, the Putney brothers. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a guy called Hasnain, but he he came from Manduli. Manduli is a small town just north of Arusha, I believe. Oh, okay, okay. So he was nicknamed as Manduli. Oh, so Manduli. he was there. Okay. Then a good, you know, Hindu friend of mine, you know, who's in Kent right now. His name is Dinesh Amin. So. Okay. Now, at that time, at age of 17, 18, where you were becoming very good into sports, uh, volleyball, can you mention some teams which were there? Yes. Around that time, we were, comp well, I won't say competing at a very high level, but there was a team from Lohana. Lohana. Uh -huh. There was a team. Th those were uh, the Hindu Hindu guys. Hindus. Hindus. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, there was a team from Vyamshala. Vyamshala. Then there is a union. You know, our own union team. Oh, union. Okay. Uh, and then uh, there was AK Club. Mm -hmm. And I believe 
there was a team from the Bohra community and also from the Sunni community. Okay. Now, our own team, Union. Do you know some of the players at that time which you were playing against or with? Yeah. Um, I would say Bashir Tejani. Bashir Tejani. Um, Mamad Ali Natu. Wow. Uh -huh. Amir Yusuf. Those were premier, premier players. Yes, yes. Those, those were the you know, cream of the crop. Okay. Uh, there were some guys who have probably passed away right now. I can't remember the names. Okay. But uh, yes, there were some, some very good players. So tell me, why would you play for YMCA, not Union? Union, your own community. Okay, what? What was the reason you did not play? Good point, and I'm glad it's been you know it's been te televised you know for the benefit of the uh, viewers. Mm -hmm. The the dirty game of politics again, Muna. And uh, you did not get a chance to play there, or no? What was I it? just felt that you know seeing the way they were organizing their games and what have you, you could feel and, and sense that if you were the inner circle, uh -huh. you're there. Now, mind so you, those old friends. They were basically the group from Zanzibar. They they, they, they came to Dar, okay. and they and they were good too. So, and plus I'll be honest with you, we were younger than them, and we were having an amazing moment playing ourselves. Okay, okay. Um, tournaments. Did you play any tournaments in in Tanzania? Okay, with YMCA or Union or any other teams? Yes, there was one tournament uh, that was highly publicized as, as the elite tournaments of, you know, the traditional volleyball players. Mm -hmm. And this was hosted by our Ishnashi team from Moshi. Okay. It was called the Bahadur Cup. Bahadur Cup. Yes. I, 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 I've heard about it. Yeah. Unfortunately, there was an African reporter by the name of Tommy Sithol. Tommy? Who, Tommy Sithol. Sithol, okay. And he was an anti-Asian, and he said, and he publicized in the daily, you know, daily news or daily standard, you know, the, the paper that was there, hmm. that this game only caters the Wahindis, the Indians. Okay. So we should not uh, allow or promote or, you know, support them. Mm -hmm. And being connected, you know, politically, his word, you know, carried some weight. So we did reach Moshi, mm -hmm. and we were informed that um, unfortunately, because of political pressure, the games are off. Wow! Yeah. So Bahadur Cup that year did not. Uh... No, we and we were, before I before I migrated to Canada. That was the only chance I had to play for Bahadur Cup. Wow! And it wasn't meant to be. So so be it. So did you play any other matches or tournaments? Okay. After this scenario. They were, this gentleman was trying to make sure that we don't play the traditional volleyball because to him, it is the game for the Wahindis. Okay. And he wanted us to play the international style. Okay. So there was practices arranged between TPDF, which is the army team, mm -hmm. and the national team of China. China? National team of China. Wow. And we were told that they are coming over, so we have to play against them, and which was merciful wow so you guys played we not only played you know in our court at ymca mm -hmm. we were even taken to national stadium of dar Salaam. so for those guys who know the stadium uh-huh and we had a match right within the vicinity of the stadium wow but it was a, a and game. it was it was that international pass pass spike yeah and it was a mismatch for us because those guys were so like they whipped you badly whip is not is not the word brother they, they chewed us and threw us out. Wow. So they won, basically. Uh, <laughs> you could have started 19 love and yeah. they, still, they still win. <laughs> so what was, uh, who was the best player at that time in us, you know what, in volleyball community? Um, I would say without bias because he's a player from my team and he's called... Rustam Damji. Rustam Damji. And uh, for somebody as as caliber like you, mm -hmm. it's a shame that you never got a chance to play with him or against him. Well, wait, is he still alive? He's alive. He's actually in Toronto. The last time I checked, but he hasn't played volleyball. So, 
like in ages. So bring him on. I'm ready. Bring him on. Oh, he's, he's past his prime, bro. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> and he was that good? What, who would you compare him with? Game-wise, in North America, I would say Reblo. Mm -hmm. But uh, the personality and the characters of the two people are East and West. Okay, okay. Reblo has a phenomenal game, mm -hmm. but he wins mostly through his mind. Okay. And, 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 and shit talk, excuse my French. Okay. While this gentleman here... Is what? I'm trying to find out the words to describe him, you know. Like he was, a, he was an angel, both okay. off, okay. Both okay. off okay. on and off the field. Okay. Now, in Union, okay, at that time, who would you say who was the one of the best players in Union in your time? In terms of volleyball or cricket? Volleyball. Volleyball, I would say. Actually, I would. I I, I can't really faith, truthfully say just one guy, because give me a couple of names, three yeah, names. This these three guys used to play three aside also, mm -hmm. and uh, they by the way one of the one of them you know his son in New York, who has passed away, mm -hmm. uh, no, uh, Yusuf Kabana. Yusuf, Yusuf Kabana. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the dad. Mm -hmm. And then Mamad Ali Natu, mm -hmm. very well known you know, through the you know, cricket circle also. Okay. And then Amir Meno. These were like one of the top three Ishnachi you know, players in our times. Okay, okay. Um, what was the hype then? Was there uh, too much hype? There, um, there was, for sure. Like in volleyball? Or in cricket? Well, because the volleyball tournaments are held within the proximity of, you know, the, the spectators close by. Mm -hmm. While cricket field is like quite a ways away. So the hype was there on both sides. But volleyball, and especially Mm-hmm. Can you give me um, any story you have for uh, about Mtendeni? Were you there in the finals or in some of the matches there being played? Mostly what I know is in Ramzan, they have a big tournament in Tendeni. I don't know if you had a chance to, to watch there or give yes, me some, some... Actually, when I went back to Dar in 1980, I was approached by a team of youngsters, you know, under the name of Tasia. I now, still remember, yeah. Tasia, Tasia is a company that does some metal work and all that. And uh, they basically said, you know what, we really like you to play for us. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I'll tell you, Muna, we surprised one of the top teams, I think, Jeffries, the Ashu brothers and Najaf and all that. We actually beat them the first game. Okay, okay. Now, tell me, what was the most memorable moment for you in Tanzania or in Dar es Salaam? Okay, before you answer me that, why don't we take a, a quick chai break? How about that? I think it's a good idea. Yes, thank you.
welcome back. I'm here with Muslo, the one and only. Um, Muslo, I asked you this question. What was the most memorable moment of you in Dar es Salaam? That would involve our departed good friend, Johnny. Johnny? Yes. Johnny, was you with, with you in Dar es Salaam? Yes, he was with, with me, definitely. And was playing with you too? Uh, no, he actually was not stabilized, you know, with one team. Mm -hmm. He was playing like with a bunch of teams. Uh -huh. And uh, it just so happened that this time, mm -hmm. we, he was challenged by three Luana good players. Like three players? Three players, three good players against uh -huh. the two of us. And there was You some, and Johnny? And there was some substantial cash on the ground. Like cash means it was... Real, real dough, real dough. Not like, you know what, uh, I'll treat you to mishkaki and kebabs and all that. Okay. This is hard cash, bro. Okay. And when I heard the amount, I told Johnny, I said, Johnny, are you insane? He goes to me. Like, to, what was the amount? Ah, good question. Like today, I mean, like today's money. Today's, today, in, today's standard, I would say probably about uh, over five Gs. Wow, at that time? Yes, sir. No, no, uh, equivalent to today's time. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but that, yeah, at that time, you know, equivalent to, so I told him, I said, you know what? You have to go, you know, go break the bank because those three guys are pretty good too. And he says, you know what? Uh -huh. we'll, 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 we'll finish them off. Wow. And I'll tell you one thing. That game, Muna, was a game of 21. It was played outdoor in the sand and you have played it yourself. It is not very easy when the sand is not wrecked properly. Yes, 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 yes. And... Uh, it went almost like three and a half to four hours. Wow, wow. And it was best of three? Best of five, if I'm not mistaken. Now, best of five. I was trying to recall this, you know, but because I remember the time, we started around maybe four o'clock, and it ended almost around seven, seven o'clock or so. So there was about three hours. So it could be best of three, but I think those guys wanted uh, best of three. And Johnny said, you know what? We have a better chance in best of five. Because if we lose here and there, we still have a couple of games to pick up. So it was a full ground, 34 come, come, by 34? I think it would be even 35, Muna. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. And what happened? Who took that money? Well, Who won? No, we, we, we won and I, I would say... You won? It could have gone either way because it was very, very close fifth game. I believe our youth carried us over the line. Oh. They were a little bit older than us, but they were a good players too. Oh, okay, okay. And okay. Uh, after, the, after the victory, because we were soaked in sand, I have no idea till today what happened to the money because I just said, you know what? Good eye. Good eye. <laughs> I'm going <gonna, laughs> to go take a dip in the ocean, you know? Wow, wow, yes. wow, wow. Any other moments? Mishkaki, Kukras. Oh, that goes without saying. Uh -huh. One thing with Dar and our culture, and especially with the month of you know, Ramzan, the amount of uh, food eating and uh, socializing, mm. and even during you know more, which is upcoming so shortly for us, it, it's, it's just our culture was just phenomenal. Like you know, it's you can't. But cow, 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 cow. Even though. Chai kebab. That's it. Yeah. Kya malushe? Kya malushe? Kati shop. Kati shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah, would yeah. actually eat before we go and play some serious games. I remember that. Today, people, the <clears throat> nutritionists will tell you that, are you insane? Mm. You've got to have this much hours, you know, to take a break and digestion and what have you, right? Was, was Johnny that good? I, I need you to say something. Johnny, was he that good of a player? He was definitely... A le he, was, he, he was a legend. Johnny you know? was definitely good, but at the same time, there were a lot of good players beside him. Or I would say even better. You know, when Johnny Nunama is in it, he's the one who taught me how to play volleyball. I won't be in surprised. I won't be surprised. Believe me, he was kicking in my ass yeah. and making me run for my ball. He was very passionate about mm. the game. And uh, the only knock against Johnny, he did not have the finesse in personality, like abrupt. But we grew up together. I loved the guy, you know, till till he left, but uh, not 
a very refined player, but a fighter. Fighter, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Muslo, how about let's go to Canada now? Bring it on. When did you come to Canada? What year? 1976. 76. How old were you when you came to Canada? I would say maybe about 21, 22. 21. Young, eh? Pump up the bhangra. Oh, well. You had, you had some musti here, right? Big time. Big time. Okay. <laughs> Where did you used to live, Muslim? Uh, Toronto. Toronto. Yeah. Like Toronto downtown or Toronto suburbs? Uh, North York. North York. Yeah. Good, good. And any teams at that time when you came, or any volleyball, or any um, things? Well, at that time, when we came, this is the year 76, which is about... 76, uh, yeah. You're talking about almost about 40 years of your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we're not getting any younger. Mm. So, if we have missed out on a couple of dates or, you know, events, uh, please, the viewers, you know what, just chill and enjoy. Uh, we were, few of us hanging out, because... Okay. I'm, I'm saying the time you came, okay, there was no volleyball, like there's nothing like... Not that, uh, not that I was aware of because, okay. like I said, you know what, we were as a community, you could count on your fingers how many we were. Okay. So when did this volleyball start? Like... Um, I would say... How did it start? Like, uh, okay, did you meet a couple of people or you, did you go to the mosque or you saw some friends or something? How yeah. did it start? I think after the 76, you know, period of, you know, immigration, more and more, you know, Tanzanians were coming by, Ugandans, you know, thanks to Idi Amin. And uh, I would say late, late 70s, so maybe 78, 79, we were told by somebody from the, from the mosque that you guys are aware that there is a team of Vishnashis playing volleyball. Mm -hmm. We said, no, we're not aware. So why don't you go check it out? Mm -hmm. So, as usual, we, that, that era, we don't have the internet or, the, you know, cell phones and all that. So, we had to do, 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 we had to do some digging. Mm -hmm. And we finally found out that on a Friday night, some brown people were playing traditional volleyball. Okay. I mean, international volleyball, you could probably see the school kids and everybody play. Okay. Who are these brown people? When we went there... We uh -huh. didn't even recognize them because they were from Uganda. We won't find out after. And um, now that I remember, Hasnali was there, his mm -hmm. younger brother Kausar, mm -hmm. uh, Mahmoud Amarsi, uh, the senior Marhum, uh -huh. uh, Marhum Shoka Dramtula, who passed away in London, England. Okay. Uh, Jagani guy, Sultan, or somebody like that. And uh, there were a few older people, like much older than we were. So we approached them and said, you know what? Uh, mm -hmm. So they said, uh, you guys know how to play. So, well, let's find you out. You showed them, you showed them who's Muslim, right? Well, not quite, not, ah. quite, not quite, not quite. That I saved it for Muna. <laughs> so we started, you know, mingling with them and we started playing with them and um, that's how we got our foot in the, into the volleyball, you know, circle. Okay, so when did this United Star start? I believe it was probably in the early 80s. Early 80s? I, if I'm not mistaken, Muna, because... So, uh, were, you, uh, were you a founder member of United Star? Or you joined after United Stars was formed? United Stars was formed when I joined these guys by the people that I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. I you know all that. Mm -hmm. and then, so it was formed already? Yes, but it wasn't like a very f f organized, you know, it was just there for the namesake and for the keepsake. Mm -hmm. There were no rules, regulations or, you know, things like that and all. It's like, you know what, the pickup games. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing, right? So, this, these players you named, Hassan Ali, you, who else was there? Um, my brother Shabir Hashem, uh -huh. Kara brothers, Rizwan, Ricky, and uh, Shabir Kara. Wow, they were there at that time. Yeah, they, they were there earlier. Okay. Then Zul Qasim, who was not really a good player. Uh -huh. He was a very good supporter. Uh -huh. uh, Anu Somji, uh -huh. he was there. Uh, let's see, before I forget. Uh, there was a guy who was moved to Vancouver, Mosin. 
very nice guy, yeah. Uh, so there, there were, there, I, I believe uh, Marum, Marum Raza Kimchi, uh-huh. I think he, he was there too. He was there too. As far as I recall. Okay, okay, okay. Now, were, were you guys practicing? Like, like you no, know, the teams are playing once a week, twice a week here nowadays. Were you guys practicing then? Yeah, at that time, it was all exclusively on Friday nights between, I would say, 8.30 to 10.30. Depending on the hours of the gym that we can allocate. So United Stars tradition is Friday night till today. Every oh, Friday night. That Friday was like you know like a Juma prayers. Oh, okay. okay Religiously, okay. volleyball. How many days a week were you guys to play? Once a week. Initially, United Stars was just once a week. But then when I found out there were other teams playing, like Bohras and mm-hmm. Sunnis and Hindus and all that. I used to go and join them during the weekdays with a couple of other you know, players that I mentioned earlier. So, were there any other teams at that time, like um, beside United Stars, okay? At that time when you guys started, any other teams like you, you would know? Uh, we, 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 hadn't played, we hadn't played other teams, but I'm aware that there was um, a team called the Wildcats, which was, I think, predominantly Hindus. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sure the, the Smileys had a team or two, mm-hmm. but that we, you know, we were not associated with them. I know Bohoras had a team also. Okay. And uh, I'm pretty sure the Sunnis probably would have had a team of their own too. Fair. Okay. Um, your first tournament, where did you play your first tournament ever? In North America. Oh, I can never forget that. That was the cold month of December of 1981 in Allentown, Pennsylvania. 81, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Yes, How did this happen? Okay, like, did you guys know people there? Or, um, like, Allentown, Toronto, you guys don't know nobody. You're new in the country. How did it happen? Hasnali and some of those guys uh, originated from, you know, Uganda. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, Allentown was predominantly a one family. Okay. And you know very well, Hassanari family, you know, Kausar and all these guys. Yeah, yeah. So they were in communication regarding, and I believe, first tournament was held in Toronto without most of the Tanzanians. Okay, It okay. was mostly the... So the first tournament was in Toronto? From As far as I was informed. Okay. I okay. wasn't a part of it. I wasn't even okay. aware of it. Okay. And then um, the word got out. Uh-huh. That, uh, you know, let's make this, uh, you know, more, more, more like an annual thing. Okay. So, that's how it started. It started. So, tell me about Allentown. How, how did you guys get there? How, uh, how, how accommodation-wise? Because at that time, nobody had money. Traveling you know, I, was I'll tell issue. you one thing. That was one of the best moments, you know. And you probably tested part of it too. But right now, you want to fly on your own jet, you know. So, <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> You don't you don't get the beauty of it, you know. Mm. Your, your your dead maroon would know that too. Mm-hmm. Seriously. By the way, I was in that tournament, 1981. I remember. In New York, Allentown. Yeah, you were playing with New York, and you were playing right front with the white shorts. I yes. remember. I How was my shorts like like Johnny's? Like no, uh, you were a little bit more respectable. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Johnny's was, I think, uh, if he had a choice, he'd probably play without it. So he's, only, <laughs> he's in the way, right? So. Okay, so uh, how was the travel at that time? It was quite challenging in the sense that we didn't have the luxury of the internet, okay. Google Maps and what have you. So basically, we called them up and said, hey, you guys, where about are you exactly? And we're looking at the map. Okay. And then we start to figure, figure out the route. Now, if you're a CA member, Hmm. You just call them and they send you a triptych. Yes, yes, I remember that. So I remember that. basically yep. now, the beauty of that of those days, Muna, you travel together with a convoy about three, four, five, six cars. Mm-hmm. You leave around at nine o'clock, ten o'clock by the baby mosque, and you pop up the bangra. You guys go straight. Yeah, and um, I'll tell you one thing. I heard you guys used to take pilau and uh, biryani oh, and man, sambusas man. on the road. Now, Shateja, our good friend, mm-hmm. 
he used to live on in the west, so we have to almost cross, you know, his in you know, his place. But I got Uh huh. We had just had a meal, and he says, "No, no, 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 pig out the alley." Wow. Man, we pig out. We just pig out, you know. Mm-hmm. And because the games were not till the next day, so we would leave maybe around Friday night, around after 10, 11 o'clock, mm-hmm. and uh, it's about an eight-hour drive. Okay. Give or take, and get there in the morning, refresh yourselves, and maybe the game start, you know, the same day, mm-hmm. and then or the next day, you know what? So accommodation-wise, tell me. We're just crashing at each other's place. Whose place? Well, Allentown, I was with Kauser. So you were going straight to Kauser's house? As a matter of fact, at one time, one of our members who didn't know this guy very well, mm-hmm. and I'll tell you, Muna, I didn't even know Kauser's last name. Mm-hmm. This beauty of volleyball, mm-hmm. this beauty of volleyball, has actually been a blessing to this community because so many good things have happened. So, just one phone call, and he tells me that, look, don't bother me. The door is unlocked. You come in anytime you want. So I remember one of the guys, you know, he was a shy guy. We reached there about 2 or 3 in the morning. It was winter. Uh He didn't know what I was doing. Mm Mm-hmm. I just opened the door, everybody laid down in the living room. He goes to me, Papa, I'm going to get my chair. Uh-huh. When he gives a lesson, you're a rookie. Mm-hmm. Just follow the lead. And uh, conversely, when they came to Toronto, the whole Allentown team, at one time, they stayed at my place. The whole, the whole team. So we were, like, it was family. Muna, it was more than a family. It was like, a, it, it was like a cult. So... What went wrong, this new generation? Um, I won't say wrong, signs of times. Number one, we started making lots of money. So we said, you know what, let's have the luxury too now. And don't forget, we're much younger, stronger, and hungrier then. Nowadays, you know what, it's all that. You know it better. And what was fun then or now? Oh, then, Muna. Oh. Right you now, no, right now, mind you, the competition is very intense. And so are the n- number of teams that have participated. Like I said earlier, that time volleyball became like a cult. Mm-hmm. You, you, you live by it and you die by it. Yes. It, it, was, it was phenomenal. But it was only on that 35 by 35. After so, that, it was all fun, fun, fun. Oh, no. No, no, there was some serious rivalry. Oh, yeah, sure. rivalry in the ground. After oh, yeah. that... Yeah, I, I, I don't recall any really fist, fist fights, you know, since, since Johnny, yourself, you know. Mm-hmm. Now, New Yorkers were typically the rough, tough guys, okay? Mm-hmm. And I remember one time they called the Canadians the Patsies. Mm-hmm. And I told them, I said, look, these Patsies came officially with the, with, with, with the residentship while you guys smuggled your, your butt in there mm-hmm. and now you are calling us off. But I'll tell you one thing, some of the nicest people that we met. By the way, by the way, Kausar was here last week. And look at this. At 12 o'clock at night. Oh, you were there too. Are you telling me? Yeah, 12 o'clock at night, you guys are knocking my door. We're not knocking, we're just coming in. Yes, Yes. you're just coming in. Look at that friendship with Kausar. Goes way, way, way back. And if, did and not even call, nothing. No, 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 I'm home. And as, food. as a matter of fact, earlier in the day, he had put up with Ricky, Rizwan Kara. Huh. So they were moving about and all that, and he makes a call to me. Moose, what's, what's this? I said, no, it's is here. I said, yeah, well, we have been in touch with the phone and WhatsApp and what have you. I'm having a chai mate. So I come on, Bismillah. Wow. So we came by, you know, they sat down, we chilled, you know, the weather was beautiful, so we sat outside. Mm. All of a sudden, Ricky goes, can you put your shoes on? And I go, well, wow. why? Are we going dancing? Hey? I said, now, I remember that you were probably involved with some wedding stuff and all that. I said, you know what time it is? I said, it's okay. I even asked him, I said, so, you sure Muna is in town? Uh, 
And this this hey, is the relationship we have. Okay? Big time, big it's, time. It's more than family, the way you yeah. said it. Okay, let's go back with that tournament, okay? In Allentown, the first ever tournament which uh, you, United Stars, participated. Um, how many teams were there? If I'm not mistaken, there were teams from Toronto, uh, Stars and Jeffries. Uh, Jeffries was formed, you know, uh, by the uh, Tharbai brothers and I think Reza Kimji and all that, but that's a different, different I, story. I was playing for uh, New York. Yeah, I was uh, I, living I in saw New York. That. Yeah. New York, I think, had, if I'm not mistaken, they had two teams. Mm -hmm. Allentown being the host team, I think they also had one or two teams. So I would say no more than about eight teams. It was about uh, five, six teams altogether. You were there. You were yeah, I was there, yeah. so I remember that. Um, some players in your team at, in that tournament, who played in that tournament? Uh, Asnali, mm -hmm. Kausar, mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. Rizwan Kara, mm -hmm. Shabir Kara, mm -hmm. my brother Shabir Hashem, mm -hmm. and I believe there was somebody that I'm missing as a 30 person or something. Okay. It could okay. have been Maru Mamorsi, you know, the, the father, and uh, we, we just went, we went with one team. Okay. And um, other players over there at that time that you can recall from Allentown or from New York? Well, Allentown, we didn't know them much, right? Uh huh. We started knowing them through the tournaments. So New Yorkers were... Oh, New Yorkers, we knew them quite well. Like, okay. I mean, you know... Who was there at that time? New Yorker, actually, I knew your dad more than I knew you. Because okay. I met your dad in Dar. Okay, okay. Uh, there was uh, Marun Kabana. Okay. There was Raza Manji. Mm -hmm. uh, Joni, I wasn't sure whether he was there at that time. Maybe you can recall. Then uh, Najaf... Joni I was there. Yeah. And then... Uh, there were some other couple of players, you know. Much of came. Oh, Rizwan Karmali. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Zuli. Zuli, yeah. Poor Zuli wasn't getting much of a chance. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, was it two-touch or three-touch? Oh, three-touch always. Three-touch. Yeah. And uh, who won that tournament? <laughs> <laughs> That's a debate that can go on for hours. Uh, basically... Don't tell me I won. Please. Let me, let me finish. Okay. Basically, it came between United Stars and New York. And, and I was uh, part of New York. Yes, and unfortunately, uh, so was Lee, obviously. Yeah, Lee was the chairman at that time. Yeah. Yep. And uh, the time was so advanced at night. And Valentine, you know, had only one family that was catering to all our needs. Mm -hmm. And uh, Joni and you guys just wouldn't budge. Because we gave you, we gave you guys so many proposals about how to share the trophy. So we are problem makers from before. You guys were born. Born problem. Oh yeah. Okay. So. But you, but, but you guys didn't have the guts. You were just your mouth. Yeah. We we win even with our mouths. Okay. I, I see we're that. New Yorkers. I okay. see that. I see that. Um, so who won that tournament? Still, you're not answering me the question. When you say win. Define win. Win means who took the trophy? The trophy was given by United Stars to... The tournament was hosted by Allentown. Correct. How United Stars can give a trophy to somebody? Allentown gave a trophy to a team, either United Stars or Jeffries. So who won that tournament? I still won't be, won't be, I won't be able to answer you truthfully. Why? Because of the circumstances. The, the problem was, Johnny was livid that we beat them in the morning. Mm -hmm. And he was telling, and I, I kept on going to Johnny. I said, Johnny, grow up. He wanted best of five. I said, are you kidding me? It'll be three o'clock in the morning. And you guys were young and aggressive and brushy and must be sweating in the back. You know, no, 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 let me go. Can he didn't practice that? Oh, why? All right. Now, mind you, we had a travel of about eight to ten hours while you guys only were a couple of hours away. But you were young, you were a spring chicken at that time. Yeah, but you guys only had two hours, Muna, two hours against ten. And mind you, you guys were younger than us, still. I agree with you. So but who won? I, <laughs> well, New, York, New York got the cup, but... Okay, that's it. That's all I want to know, who got the cup. For the benefit what? of the viewers, <laughs> okay, why don't you ask Lee? How I he, can't ask Lee, Lee is not long. Yeah. How he, Marumli, God bless his soul, yeah. 
How did he react when he found out that you guys were given the cup? Okay? And you know the story. Uh, so sorry. No, it was all I, fun. It was I all mean, fun you know, honestly, you guys played well, hmm. but because of your aggression in the morning, and I'll, I'll bring you to, I don't know, I think Hassan was telling me that he might have a clip or that you know, your dad was recording it. And during the, int during the intro, the host team asked everybody that, uh, what are your views? So Alan Tan obviously started off with Kausar and he said, I'm welcoming you know, this and that and that. And then Hassan told me that, why don't you say a few words on behalf of you know, us? I said, okay. So I told them that, you know what? Hopefully this is the beginning of something very, very dear. And we appreciate, you know, coming. It was brutally cold. In a way, I wasn't very keen on, you know, playing there. And then comes the New Yorkers. The thing that floored me, Lee goes on the stage, on the mic, and he goes, I'm here for three trophies. And those guys who are there, please look at the history of it. And we're all saying three trophies. Winners. Well, debatable. MVP, debatable. The last one was best a, discipline. Yeah, New Yorkers are discipline. best discipline. I yeah, said, New I said, Yorkers in are your, discipline. In your dreams, you will never touch that trophy like me. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that and, and and he felt so good about it. I says Lee, Tunarish, he's telling me Tunarish. And the first game, when we clobbered them, you should have seen their anger. He actually went and kicked the door of the washroom. I remember very well. I was a kid then. Yeah, no. Yeah, because somebody came and told me that Muna have a derogatory in Aviway. Yep, you're right. Yes, okay, so now tell me, lots of people are talking about this triangle tournament which started after this first tournament in North America. Explain to me. How did it start, the Triangle Tournament? I think it was... Not uh, me, the viewers would love to know about yeah. this. I think it was just an extension of what we just talked about, you know, going to Allentown. Mm -hmm. and, and soon after that, we, we were invited by New Yorkers mm -hmm. in summer of 82, I mean, sp yes, spring of 82. And then we felt that it was our duty to reciprocate and United Stars held it in long weekend of September. Mm -hmm. Then... We started talking about, you know, why don't we make this an annual thing? And this is how it all started. So, so in, in Toronto, we, uh, which month was it? In, in New York and El Allentown, like yeah, those three places? Yeah, Allentown would take during the Christmas holidays okay. because you need about two, three days to hold the tournament. Yes. Then the New York would hold it during spring break. Which is Easter. Easter. Around March, April, and of March, April, yeah. Easter, uh huh. Yeah. And then Labor Weekend is Toronto. Oh. Okay. September, around, you know, first week of September or so, just before the school starts. So that was the tr so that that's how it started. Good. Uh huh. And it went on for a long time, and then. Uh, before you go ahead, how many teams were there? If you, in that uh, triangle? triangle tournament. At the peak, I would say close to about 16, 18 teams. Wow, mashallah. Yeah, yeah. And can you, may, uh, can you name some of the teams? Well, you know about the three. The three, New York, Toronto, and... Uh, yes. And, and Jeffrey was there too. Absolutely. But uh, that's why I'm saying Toronto. Yeah. Uh, uh, not Minnesota, but uh, Indiana. Indiana, Indiana yeah. Indiana joined there. us. You know, I mean, uh -huh. they were traveling like 24 hours to come to Toronto. Yes, I still remember that. Montreal also had a step in and out, you know, once a while. Yes, absolutely. Uh, right. Then who else? One time LA also came by, but mm -hmm. they actually held the tournament too. Mm -hmm. Then Orlando, in later part of the years, they started joining the, the, the group. Wow. So this tournament, triangle tournament, became so big. Oh, okay, yeah. 15, 18 teams at huge, that time. Huge, 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 huge. It was it was like an annual event for for us. Actually, I would say not only as Toronto, oh. but even Allentown and New York was the only part about Allentown. It was cold, man. Yeah, but we're enjoying more over there. Like absolutely, was, because it was like a smaller community. Community, yeah. But their gym, I think you remember. Yeah. Sometimes they didn't even have the windows working, and there were holes in there, yeah, and some of the guys we had to wear you know, gloves, you yeah. know, and it was it was cold. So, how was the hype at that time? 
like with the triangle tournament. Crazy. Crazy, eh? But compared to now, hmm. now it's becoming like wild. Wild. Before it was crazy, now it's wild. Yeah. Because he, before when you kind of lose, it is uh, sort of okay. But if you are, are sub supposed to be a, one of the winning teams in your category, and if you lose, it's chaos. Yes, yes, absolutely right. Yeah. One thing bothers me, I don't know, I tried so many times, okay, um, to promote this game with the different communities, like Ismailis, like Boras, like, I was in a favor of that, okay, and you were a United Stars chairman at that time, okay, it was fully restricted to only Shia Ishnashris. Why is that in sports? Okay, we are not the only ones. If you look at the border, no, 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 the the triangle. I'm yeah. not only blame. I'm not not blaming, but I'm just saying that this was decided with a triangle tournament, yeah. and you were a chairman of United Stars for quite a long time, and this was going on. What is the reason? Were you guys? I'll be upfront with it. Were you guys scared? of losing or there will be no competition? What was it? Because today I see what I wanted 20 years ago, it's today. It's an open tournament everywhere. Why? Explain to me why at that time we were refusing outsiders, which there was talent then. Okay, Reblo, Banji, Tagaro, Dudo. you name it, Dudo. I mean, there was talent there. And I did not miss out. I used to go and play their tournaments, okay? You're very right. When we started this uh, triangular scenario, it was strictly on a community level. And if you look at our history, even back home, your father knows, the tournaments were, con 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 were basically only for the Ishnashris. And we're not the only communities that had. When Ismailis here, at one time, they had their mega tournament, only Ismailis. When you started this crap, because I call it a crap, because it was always coming in the way, mm. we had a talk. The only reason was Reblo. Why? He was dominant, if I'm not mistaken, for 15 years in a row, nobody, nobody could beat him. Reblo beat me a million times in their tournaments. Were we playing to win? Or we were playing for unity. You have a point. Now, mm. mind you, I was caught in between because I play for multiple teams, including the Smileys, the Boras, and our Ishnashris. So I was caught between a rock and a hard place. But I had to get the feedback from the other other. Now, so basically, it was scared of a person. He's going to win all the tournaments. The way you're saying it. According to my my uh, observations, huh? yes. To a point that it became, that you know what, okay, since uh, you guys are from Toronto and you guys are friends with Reblo and you, Muna is playing with him and all that, why don't we do this? We have two cups. One for Reblo and one for the rest of us. Because one thing, Ismailis could not even touch him for f almost 15 years. Yes, yes, I could not touch him. You know, well, I you, could you, not you, touch him. you were young when you started playing him, mm. but you're talking about CDs and Vancouver and all that. Mm. Straight. The records, they say that, you know, 15 years. So some of the our Ishnashi guys said, you know what? There was, a, there was an argument about if you, learn, if you don't learn from the best, how are you going to improve? Which you were a point of fighting. But then the gone side of the argument was that we, first of all, have to learn to compete among ourselves. How are you going to learn if you don't play with the best? Like I said, Muna, I got caught between a rock and a hard yeah, place. I just wanted to know, yeah. okay? So, you, how many years, I know you're still, uh, you're still a United Stars member, okay? Life you member. You rent life member. Supposedly, yes. I hope. Yes. Um, how many years you were in that uh, position of uh, captain, team manager, or chairman, Okay, how many years? I have actually gone through the whole circle of all the positions. Okay. Just for the experience. 
But I stayed as a chairman and a captain the longest, but I served as a vice captain, treasurer, secretary, and well, as usual, the you know, emceeing of the all, all the you know, tournaments you know, that were held in Toronto. So they tell me that, not they tell me, I've seen you myself, you were the best netty at that time. Tell me something about your game. How did you become the best netty? Through hard work, not good looks. <laughs> okay. um, I would let you guys decide, you know, what the best netty. But when I go to the ground to play, and as much as a competitor you are, I refuse to be a second in second place. So if that makes me the elite, but but inside you, did you ever think that you are the best netty? At that time. I'm not talking now. Yeah, I would refuse to be number two. Son, son. Uh, who was the best center at that time? I'd probably go with uh, Raza Kimji, Asnali, Asnali, Asnali Lada. Now, mm. mind you, when you say at that time, you're talking about the years that the, you know Najaf came in. Yeah, yeah, you know, 80s when you guys yeah. started, 90s, whatever it is. At one time, I know you were dominating center. Then your younger brother Mehboob came. Yes. And Kausar had Joe, you know, playing, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are so many centers. So that, as, as the time time evolved, there were some, you know, cent not not a particular bona fide center like Reblo had is established. Best game you played in your era? The inaugural Orlando tournament in, I would say, 94. Yeah, I would say, I would say about 90, 96, I think. 96. Yeah. That was your pick pick? I have never duplicated that level of play in my game. Marshall. Like what happened there? And, and, and I, was, uh, I was a back center. So you moved from the net? Yes, I moved because I was tearing my knee. Oh, okay, okay. And I just gone for the surgery, I came back. Now when Orlando, obviously Johnny, and they decided to you know, have us over in, in, Christ, in Christmas time because Allentown didn't hold it at that time. I remember we did not show up at that, that tournament. That's correct. It yeah. wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered. You know, because like I said, when I was playing the game, not the name. Wah, 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 wah. I, I, I haven't duplicated. You know what? Most slow. So cut the bullshit short. How many times have you beaten me? Okay. I mean, the talk is cheap, okay? You should have shown yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, best team in the 80s. Which team do you consider the best when you guys started this? Triangle tournament. I would say Ellington, probably. Good answer. How about 90s? Best team in 90s? I would probably lean on you guys. Jeffries, I think so. Good answer. How about 2000? Same. Because you won like so many trophies. Mm. So it's, I have to think really deep and hard. Like who else? When you say best, I'm just judging your answer. Best winning team or best team or does yeah. make a difference? Because best team necessarily doesn't win. Yes. But you guys were the winning team. So. How is the game different today? Oh, day and night. In our younger times, the game was more controlled, more slower. And today, the games like these kids, I don't know what they're eating at home. They have become big and powerful. And the way they hit the ball, it's 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 more entertaining, but the finesse of the game was like yesteryears. So it has gone through the eras, and each era you know has its own you know highlights. And uh, I happen to get a little bit of both, mm -hmm. but you're experiencing more because you're still playing. Yeah. So. Um, rival team, which team you want to kill? Oh, Jeffries, hands down. Why Jeffries? Everybody wants to kill Jeffries. Why well, you? Well, somehow. Why at that time? I'm talking about that yeah, time. Yeah, somehow we just couldn't beat you. I mean, kudos, you, you won, you won, but 
if we had to be to Allentown or, or New York, because New York then, you know, settled down. They became like, you know, decent. There wasn't that much of a uh, accomplishment. Mm. Yeah, Allentown, Yaja mm. New York, Nevada. No, it felt good. But Jeffries would just slip away. One thing I must tell you, I salute you for being in United Stars for such a long time. Okay? Um, you're a chairman. Again, I'm saying you're a chairman. You're a captain. Tell me, there was a tournament out there. You guys spent a lot of money, like a lot of money. Like, you know what? You just open up a tape and money was just like this was a biggest tournament ever in North America. Yes. Explain you're, to me. You're very right. United Stars has the distinction of being the most organized sporting team, non-affiliated with the Jamaat, though supported by the Jamaat members. Mm -hmm. We had the membership numbers, mm -hmm. and we had the ability. We were we were hosting amazing so, tournaments. Then so we you were the chairman at the time. No, I had uh, taken the role of the treasurer. Treasurer, okay, yeah. uh huh. Because, like I said, you know what. I felt that, you know, I've done my part, so mm. it's time to do some other stuff. And mind you, the committee is there, but yes, uh, during crisis, they'll probably call upon me and say, you know what? what yeah, so, where did you guys uh, uh, put this tournament? The tournament, the budget was $70,000, you're right, at the 25th anniversary, that would... $70,000, what year was that? I'm trying to remember, and it was held at the U of T. Uh, UFT. UFT downtown. Which is uh, Prime. the University of Toronto. Prime. And not only that too, transportation was provided for the seniors. Uh -huh. Buses were arranged from the complex and the mosque. Uh -huh. uh, some of the parkings were also subsidized. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a bittersweet tournament. Bittersweet. Because sweet, I do not understand. Sweet, I understand. Sweet, Bittersweet, I don't understand. You, you, you're getting there. Bitter because the results, you know, were very bitter. But the sweetness was the magnitude of the tournament that we could pull it off. Oh, that, I mean, that was, you yeah. know, one of a kind of a tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Um, who won that tournament? Again. Jeffries. Again. You didn't win. You, you creamed us. Who was in the final? United Stars and Jeffries. Do you remember the players of United Stars? Oh, yes. Uh, At, in that tournament? Yep. I would say youngsters Nadim, Mahmoud Rajani, Arif Dabudi, uh, 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 Najrali, mm -hmm. Shabir Kara, mm -hmm. uh, Asghar. Mm -hmm. Who was I don't know if Karmali was there. Okay. These are the names I can think of. In youngsters, it was mostly Nadim and uh, Mahmoud Rajani. So was it one-sided or the finals? Because no, the, the, I know there were about 20, 25 teams that came in. At the time. Big time. The first game was very close. Very close. And I would say your leadership and your demeanor of the game probably pulled you over. Now, at that time, I was in the middle of, you know, my speech writing because with the $70,000 in a budget, I had to acknowledge like tons of people. And your dad was beside me, talking to me, and uh, the referee was Johnny of all the people. Okay, okay. Okay. And uh, so I was distracted in a way that I couldn't really watch the game because, like I said, this is more important too now. I have to appreciate and acknowledge, you know, the people that have made this thing happen, you know. And the second game, I, <laughs> I, don't, I think you're really looking forward to hearing that. No, 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 no. I, I, if you don't want to mention, it's not a problem. But it, it was, was too straight. Uh, big time. Good. Okay. Um, 80s and 90s, how many championships you have won, like with United Stars? I would say probably five, four, five or six. Five or six. Yeah, yeah, we, like I said, we didn't win as much as we organized. 
or organized his success was far more than winning the trophies. Excellent, excellent. Um, if you had a chance again, which team would you like to play for? Okay. But before you answer, yeah. let's take a break. Fair enough. Welcome back, all the viewers. I'm here with Muslo. Muslo, I asked you before going to a break, if you had a chance again, which team would you like to play for? Jaffrey's. Why Jaffrey's? Hey. You hated Jaffrey's. Now why are you loving Jaffrey's? Why not try, why don't you sleep with the enemy? I want to see what it feels like. Oh, so you want to sleep with the enemy. <laughs> well. <laughs> and if you're playing with for Jaffrey's, which team would you love to beat? Oh, Stars. Hey, listen, let's reverse so the rhythm. I would be in stars then if, you know, if, if you come to Jeffries and I go to stars. Well, that, you know, is subject to debate. Okay. Muslo, you have played with one team, one team all your life, United Stars. Why United Stars? Frankly, I didn't choose to. It just happened to be, and uh, here we are. I've always, always, so, even even back home, mm -hmm. I was only always in you know, a one-team person. I just didn't see the need or the want for changing teams. We wanted you so badly when in nineties, when at your prime, and still we need you. So, when are you joining Jaffrey's? When I'm back to you know challenge you again. Why? We well, need well, we need players like you, experience and everything, being there in the sideline and instructing us what to do. Well, you guys are doing okay, you know. You you might you know lose here and there, you know, but uh, you guys your record speaks for itself. So you know what? If I'm meant to be healthy, mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind giving it a crack with Jeffrey. Right. I mean, the way you're looking, you're putting me to shame, man. Well, looks are deceiving, brother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, over the years, we have lost some wonderful people in our community. I'll name a few of them, if you don't mind. Sure. Give peace of your mind. Raza Kimji. One of the pioneers of the volleyball sports. But lately, before he passed away, he was actually trying to introduce the shooting ball that the Indians are playing. And he feels that that is more of the volleyball that should, but that was then. Like he even went for a visit. So imagine that thing we are learning now because yes. Jaffrey is, is playing against India. Yeah, but Muna, don't forget our culture from back home, mm -hmm. and Raza would have known, is traditional. Traditional. But this still, India, India plays traditional. Yes. Liakat Faza. Hey, what can I say about the guy? The most selfish guy. Why selfish? He would not, Muna, he would, he would not let you do anything. I know. That. When I you know. go to a point whereby when we go there, how do I ask Lee that I want to get something done? 
मैं आकर ही जाता हूँ जेम ऑफ अ गाय गॉड ब्लेस यू एब्सोल्युटली नो नो यू नो आई एम डियरली मिस्ड फॉर श्योर मोहिर जी ओ द जंजीबारी ओके वंस अगेन अ वेरी डेडिकेटेड यू नो प्लेयर एंड अ मेंबर एंड ही कम्स फ्रॉम अ स्मॉल कम्युनिटी ऑफ द एलेंटन यू नो हसनाली क्लान very very hard working and very dedicated to the sports and uh, a very hum- in humble guy excellent excellent shabir sharali ha uh, one of our buddies always smiling on comedian eh yeah yeah always smiling yeah. very good sports person a very good cricketer in his time and a and a, and a decent volleyball player too mm mm-hmm. uh totally team player <coughs> but like i said uh, i think i uh, uh he's is is always cracking you know people up and guess what if you remember both of his heart attacks were playing against with you yes yes he was right beside me here and both in my presence yes and i said bro yes. you're scaring me now yes yes absolutely no, i'll tell you guys like him we needed to be around yeah god bless him too uh zamin kamalia oh yali yali magad aha he made a service he has actually played for both us you know stars and jeffries mm-hmm. and a true dedicated you know member true dedicated you, you can ask him for anything and it's it's done and delivered yes muslo um we have lost a premier player faisal banji Tell me something about him. One of a kind. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, left too early to have compared the legacy between him and Reblo, uh-huh. because he was the next thing, and I guess God had different plans. Just a superb all-round player, like. Oh yeah, you can't, you can't. I mean, there's no words for that. No, it's just, 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 just a beauty to watch. Yes, but. me i would love to see him against kizer that would be a dream that would have been a dream but yeah. unfortunately we can yeah but mind you faisal was already matured by the time kizer le- hmm. le- reaches his level of maturity yes. so it but may be dicey have, you would have seen the transition again true yeah and and who knows faisal may even pick up the game even more because he was still young can't see it anymore unfortunately god bless his soul absolutely i mean tagaro what what can you tell me about tagaro i think one of the sweetest game that the, we have I've ever seen is tagaro he plays like a maestro you know the musician yeah, like, yeah and he's yeah. so he calm that. and i'll tell he you one thing style. not only that munna his services were deadly deadly yeah, yeah yeah he wasn't doing much of the services but when he did they were deadly Marhum Shamash which again it happened and I was there in the ground in Minnesota um what can you tell me about him very very uh, competitive player went mm. to play for quite a few different teams you know practice I I have managed to get to play against him too mhm but uh, I think deep down he probably must be happy because he died doing what he does best like what well, can you imagine yes. di- dying well, you know, in, like in you, the ground <laughs> like that's your passion like you know what you love like he, he i think he, if i was mistaken he was probably playing about three or four times a week yes he was he was and he with was different teams with all the teams yeah yeah and can you imagine like you know right after the game it's time yeah. sad but you sad, know sad, yeah. sad. um johnny bojani your best buddy he left his mark He left his mark. Uh, to a point where I think uh, he overdid it. Mm-hmm. I, I would say him and Raza mm-hmm. that they immersed themselves too deeply with the sports of volleyball mm-hmm. and uh, were neglecting, you know, the the other duties. But that's not my thing to say because I know both of them and I respect them. So that's why I'm just sharing my observation. uh for the sports mhm they have made their marks my dad marhum jiji mirali very wise man him and i used to talk you know for like long period of time 
mm-hmm. and we have a we had a unique relationship. I could address him like a like a dad, and I could address him like a friend. Wow! And uh, mm-hmm. we've actually known him from Dar, but we didn't really connect much because I think I left there, you know, when you guys were still there. Mm-hmm. And when we came here, he had talked to me uh, numerous times mm-hmm. that it's time to come to Jeffries. And like you said, I've spent all my life in the United States. And I told Gigi that, you know what? This is not the time yet. But one of these days, I'll make your wish come true. And before, So can you make that wish come true? Let me get better. You make it better? No, let me get better. All right, okay. 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 Um, what advice can you give to these upcoming players now? Well, if they're willing to listen, of course, they're going to mm. listen. Why not? It's Muslim talking. Once again, I would emphasize hard work and dedication. And also respect to the elders and those who care about you. Do not give up because you know what? Once you do that, you lost any chance of, you know, getting further. Compete. Compete to the best of your ability and be a good person. Excellent, excellent. Muslo, we're almost at the end of our interview. Um, one more, one more thing, a rapid fire, but I won't make it as a rapid, I'm going to make it as a slow fire. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need, I need, I need take the your time. time. I need take the time. Take the time and answer me. Answer me the best you could. Absolutely. Um, you know, rapid fire. Yeah, if yeah, yeah. You, if you Instant. win, no. If you win, you win this. And people, people come just for this. Let me put it this way to you. Uh huh. Why waste your time? Oh ho ho! Just give it to you? No, I won't. Because uh-huh. there's a team there waiting, okay, to decide whether you won or not. First, we want to know the answers, and then I'm telling you, might bro. be I'm unless telling. if you give something to the no, team. No, 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 no. I'm telling then you. Then I don't know. I'm telling you, there's no competition, brother. Okay, vamos a ver. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> I spoke in Spanish right now. Okay. <laughs> um, Muslo, rapid fire. Best center in your time? I would lean towards uh, Hasnali. Hasnali. In my times. In your times. Yeah. There were, there was Munna, there was Mebob. There was Kausar, there was Najaf. Yeah, but don't, was, don't forget, don't forget if I may interrupt you. You were playing other positions too. You were not playing strictly center. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about the other players. Mebub was too young at that time. Mm-hmm. Kausar used to play right front most of the time. The reason I said Asnali, because mm-hmm. that was the only position he was playing. Good answer. Okay. I'm just trying to yeah, yeah. No, help no. you out, that's all. There are other players too, but like I said, you know, I would have chosen Mebub hands down. But I don't think Mebub was that mature to be playing competitively till after a while. Excellent, excellent answer. Best netty at your time? You are really need to answer that? Of course, of course. If you ask me, none other than Muslim. But it's your answer, whatever you want to answer. This this thing is is in stake right now. So answer answer it right, please. I can't disappoint you out there. What do you mean? Well, uh, your answer was. I mean, Muslo, you were you were the best netty at that time. There is no denial to it. Okay, I'm you glad you excellent. Okay, and amazing, amazing. Well, Nothing let, else could well, have come. Well, let me you. help you. Hmm. All the natives could lift the ball. Uh-huh. Muslo lifted the team. Wah, 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 wah. Muslo, you have to kill me. Muslo, you have to kill me. Muslo. Well, eh? I don't have to kill you, Muslo. Yeah, no, no, it's all good, bro. <laughs> uh, best defensive player at your time? Was Asghar around? If Munna wasn't around, Asghar wasn't around. Well, then obviously I can't, I can't vote him. Okay, so who? I would say, oh no, then that, that guy with you wasn't, you know, Moshi, Moshi. He wasn't around with Musaddiq you. Pardan. Ah. 
You remember him very well, but then, he, then if if he was there, then you were there too. Yes. So that was our time. I'm talking about your time. Best defense is uh, you got please, me. I don't want you to lose this, please, please. You got me there, Muna. Best defense is saying. See, we've gone through so okay. many. How about I make it easy for you? Okay. Give me some hints. No, I make it easier for you. I'll twist around the question again. Okay. Best overall defensive player. Any right now or when we're playing or when you guys were playing. I would lean towards this name. It's your choice. There is Asgar. There is there is Mosin was there too. In uh, you your, your team there was uh, Shabi Kara, Memu Ladakh. Okay, I agree with all so of them. The reason, I'm, them. the reason I'm talking, I'm picking up Hasnain hmm. is strictly from the fact that Maroon Faisal used to take him. And that is based on Asgard does qualify hands down. But I'm looking at a caliber player like Faisal. If he's picking a player to be by his side, that carries a lot of weight. Okay, good answer. Good answer. Let's see what uh, the team decides. Okay. Uh, best game you played? Once again, Orlando. Orlando. Yes. The game which you told us. Uh, yeah. Once, uh, nine, five. You guys were five with five players. Absolutely. Panjatan Panch. Panjatan Panch. Yeah. 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 Best team overall. Best team. I would pick Jeffries. Why Jeffries? Look at the winning record. Because of the winning record. Okay, put it this way. Best... Non-winning team? No, no, no. Uh, best team you like to watch. You would love to watch. At that time, now, whatever it is. Our case. Like, our case. Yes. Good answer. Okay. Okay, now, describe me these players in one one, but you can, you, you can okay. take your time. Kausar. Powerhouse. Excellent. Hazer. Next, next Faisal. Next Faisal. Mashallah. Um, Reblo. Hard to duplicate him. Very good answer. Oscar. One of the top, if not the top defensive player. Mashallah. Najaf. A very classy, entertaining player. Faisal Banji. Oh, he's a complete package. Complete package. Asante Sana. My team is going to decide in a few seconds whether you won or not. But before that, I, I need, like okay. I need um, final words to our viewers, okay, before um, we wrap up. I believe, carry on to what we started earlier, I think it is only fair that the efforts like what Muna has done with the family and the friends and whatever, if you, if you can't acknowledge it, at least respect it. And uh, other than that, just play hard and have fun. That's it. Thank you very much, Muslo. And again, again, we love you so much. You Likewise. You always are in our hearts. Likewise. Okay. And I may, and, and I may, Make your dreams come true about your father. I may, but like I said, you know what? We're waiting for that day, Muslim. Inshallah, sooner than later. Yes. Asante Sanna. Um, Muslo, my team there has decided that you have won this hamper. Congratulations. Thank you. What did I tell you earlier? Yes, there is no competition no, no, here no, with no, Muslo. I'm sure it, was, it must have been pretty close for them. But you know, anyway, you know what? It's Asante. much appreciated. Asante, Asante. Okay, now you have to do me a favor. Sure. So I need you to sign this mug. Gladly. Okay. It goes in our trophy wall right here. Please. You got it. Please. Go ahead. So if you can show them... Um, there you go. 
Muslim. Asante. Anytime, bro. Anytime Muslim. for you. I love you. Anytime, bro. You know. Muslim, you did very well, and I thank you very much, Muslim. God bless you. God anytime, bless you. Anytime. God bless you. You know, I'm always here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anytime, bro. Thank you.